Good morning. Breaking overnight. Race against time. Dramatic new rules overnight from the CDC advising no gatherings of more than 50 people anywhere in the U.S. in a Americans desperate push. Americans should be prepared that they're going to have to hunker down a significantly more than we as a country are doing. Governors and mayors from coast to coast step up and crack down, closing schools in 36 states, even bars and restaurants shuttered in some places. The president urging calm. But it's something that we have uh, tremendous control of. Just ahead, the administration's claims it's finally gotten on top of that stunning lack of testing. What is the reality on the ground? Chaos, massive lines for Americans returning home as the travel ban goes into effect. I felt unsafe and more at risk of getting the coronavirus. And more major American airlines slashing flights across the country. We're going to have the very latest on that. Message not received. Scenes of crowded bars and restaurants around the country this weekend. Why are some still ignoring the pleas of experts? And at what cost? And it is a new day in America. Tens of millions of families across the country waking up to the reality of work and school from home. It's really frustrating and um, it's anxiety inducing. And the question this morning, is our nation's infrastructure prepared to handle this? We're going to show you where adults and kids can turn for health today, Monday, March 16th, 2020. From NBC News, this is a special edition of Today, the Coronavirus Pandemic with Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Kotb from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Hi, everybody. Good morning and welcome to Today. We are glad you are with us this morning and we can show you right away. This is not a normal morning as we right here on this show try to practice what our experts are preaching, a little social distance, not emotional distance, right. but physical distance to do our part. It does matter. We're practicing that at home. We're practicing that with our children and we want to practice that at work because we feel like it's important. We have so many developments to talk to you about overnight, including that stunning recommendation the CDC now advising all events with 50 or more people. We're talking things like weddings and everything in between be canceled for the next eight weeks. It's a stunning guideline and it comes as the nation's largest cities and many others, including New York and Los Angeles, announced strict new restrictions. Bars and movie theaters set to be closed in many places. Restaurants open, but just for takeout or delivery only. Meantime, New York has also joined the lengthy list of cities closing down schools. The largest district in the country now shuttered until at least April 20th and possibly beyond. And in a bold move to try and address the economic impact of this pandemic, the Federal Reserve has slashed interest rates to near zero. We've got complete coverage. We're going to begin with this massive meltdown at key international airports as Americans in Europe have rushed to return home. NBC's